Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Adriana. It is very nice to meet you. And on my channel, I do talk about business, I talk about lifestyle, and I talk about creative um, stuff. So if any of those things are things that you are into, then just be sure to subscribe and be sure to click the notification bell or else you're not gonna know when I post a video. So <sighs> anyways, welcome. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I set up my business website, domain, and professional business email address. So I did everything on Wix.com. I did do research on GoDaddy as well, but I just decided to go to Wix because I could do everything and it is completely customizable. So whatever you want to change to the T, you can change it. So it is really, really cool and I really appreciate that from Wix. So that's why I went with them. And also, I do want to let you know that I am not done yet with my website. I still need to come back and put professional pictures and a professional logo. I am going to work on those two things today, but right now I'm just taking advantage of the time to do this quick little intro and then I'm going to jump into doing some professional, professional pictures, which is why I did my makeup very, like a lot today. Um, so yeah, hopefully they come out good and I could record that and show you guys how to do your own you know, DIY professional photo shoot at home. So you can put these pictures up on your website and just make it really, really professional. The pictures that I chose are just stock pictures. I'm not using those pictures. I definitely want my picture up there so that I could showcase to my future business clients who I am and you know just put a face to the business that's what I'm trying to do but if that's not what you're trying to do that's okay too you don't have to put your picture up there it's your choice thank you guys for watching and I hope that this is informational helpful and motivational so have a great day and enjoy the rest of my channel here this video here sorry <laughs> okay all right, you guys, so this is where I got my domain from. I did get it from Wix.com and I will leave that linked below. I decided to name my notary business Quick and Easy Notaries. And I will be showing in another video how I'm going to be um, getting my LLC created because this is a serious business. Um, but yeah, look, this is really cool. So after I did this, you know, it gave me the option to get um, an email so that it could it could be like, oh, Adriana at quickandeasynotaries.com and not quickandeasynotaries at gmail.com or something like that. Um, it just looks better. You know what I mean? So I also did that. And let me show you where that's at. Hmm. I don't know if it does. Oh, man. Oh, right here. Um, ah, but it doesn't say how much it was. Anyways, it was $6. I know. Super cheap. Now, look. Okay. My research here on, you know, GoDaddy, the business domain was going to be $21 with the email um you know the at your business.com twelve dollars a month um the business domain is a year um a year long i only got a year and the email is every month so something to consider you guys um i would definitely much rather pay six dollars rather than 12 every month and you know i don't know Wherever you can save yourself a couple of bucks, that's always smart. You can add this to your business ex business expenses, my bad. So just keep that in mind. This is a very serious business. So take it serious. It's going to take a lot of um, money invested in it. Well, I won't say a lot, but you know, 
it's going to take money to get started so now i don't know if you guys are very like tech savvy or not but i'm not really that tech savvy so to get this started it was like what anyways the first thing you do after you purchase this you go ahead and do set up mailbox and then it'll take you here and then you can set up mailbox and then um once you're done doing that part i don't really want to show that part because it's like a lot of just like you know private info so it's like too much to edit and i don't really want to do a lot of that so um yeah after you do that i hit go to mailbox oh yeah i forgot to mention this this is all through google i love google so of course i was like yeah yeah let's do it um and then it'll, it'll take you here and once sorry about that roman i'm so sorry man i'm sorry dude okay so once i got to this part i was like yo hold on there's like a lot going on right here so um this is where i went over here to this google apps and then i hit gmail and then i went here and now when i went here um there's like three things that popped up i think one was like i don't know what this one was but this one was set up your signature so that's where i was right now uh, i was about to create a new signature but i want to have it with my business logo so i'm gonna hold off on that i just wanted to show you where i was right here because i feel like that email box part just kind of confused me a little bit too much. just a little fyi for you guys and i will be back in a little bit all right guys so now that we got our domain and we got our email our business email we're gonna need to actually pay for the website itself so in order to connect the domain to the website you're gonna have to upgrade and I'm getting the cheapest one right now. Combo. What do you mean combo? I don't know what combo is, but no, I'm 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 getting this one. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I am getting oh yeah, it is combo for personal use. Or you could do like this. This one as well. But this is going to end up being $28 because I'm not getting the, I'm not paying the year. Here, yeah, the cheapest one. <coughs> okay, so you see how it's not going to be that. It's going to be 18 I don't have the money to pay for this all right now, so... That's what we are going to do, okay? Now, connect your domain. Hmm. Need to be. Click and no, please. Don't boom. Confusingorders.com. Next. Oh, nice. So now, what was that? What was that? Oh, okay. So that's in another window. Okay, it scared me. I was like, what's going on? see what it does here okay hey guys so now that we got our domain right we got our domain we got our mailbox connected and we have our website plan right here this was $18 this is gonna be $18 every month this was $24 and it's only a one-time fee per year because I only got it for one year and the mailbox is going to be six dollars every month so just letting you guys know that these two things are going to be monthly recurring fees so make sure you take note of that put it in your calendar this is the cool part i wanted to show you bookings 
you can set your appointment hours to put when you are available to take any notary signings. Um, this is your booking policy. If you have like a cancellation policy that you would like to, you know, I don't know, maybe you want to charge clients a fee for canceling. I don't know. This is emails and SMS reminders, which I find to be super duper pro professional because I mean, just imagine like, I would feel like, man, you really got your shit together if I book something and, then, you know, I get a reminder like two days before, like, hey, don't forget about your appointment with so-and-so. I would, I would honestly be like, yo, like two thumbs up. Way to go. I like that. Especially for people like me. I'm a very forgetful person. So that's awesome. And then this is the booking form, which you get to choose like what information you want to collect from the client, which is great because you can customize it to how you want it so you can make sure that <clears throat> the location of the signing is on there what kind of signing it is if i don't know if maybe you want to add in there like um if scan backs are required is it you know same day drop off is there an urgency to it anything like that um that's just great to have on there. It is going to make things so much easier for you and for your clients. And it can also sync to your Google Calendar, which I have on my phone. So it's just, everything just connects and it's easy and it's awesome. So hope that you guys um, take advantage of this. I know I definitely am and I will show you more on how i'm going to set up this like booking part on my website so i will record more of that right now um i kind of want to like play around with the layout of my website for a bit and maybe i can do like a quick little time lapse of that okay so i hope that you guys enjoy the next part i am going to design my website real quick, okay? to have to create my logo first and I don't know get some stuff really figured out so sorry I couldn't um you know do too much I did kind of figure out like the whole like bookings part but you do have to upgrade so yeah that's just a lot to this but we're gonna get through this together don't worry about it it's doable if it's googleable it's doable that's for sure so let's um just be patient with me okay i will come back once i have a logo i'm actually going to create the logo myself i am not going to pay for it and i'll show you guys the apps that i use because I'm, i think i might have to use a couple of apps so stay tuned for that okay I don't